That's a good one. That's a good one. Coming out. This feels like a long time coming for Lincoln baseball. It feels like a blast from the past. The Lynx are headed to the state tournament this weekend. Make sure second baseman covering it good. Unfinished business that spans across generations. This is um, where I grew up. Head coach Ray Atkinson knows what it's like to get to this point. The Lincoln team he played for made it to the state quarterfinals twice in the 1980s. He never won a state title though. Didn't even get to try for one as a senior. I graduated in 82, but they closed the school in 81. Low attendance was the reason. A school that had stood for 72 years was shut down. Seattle's old Lincoln High School in the Wallingford area, it's been closed since 1981. It was sad. Yeah, it was different. It was just disappointing you didn't get to finish where you started. Four decades later, that's exactly what he's doing. Hunt out, be better. A school closure in 1981, leading to personal closure in 2019 when it returned. I said, hey, if that school ever reopens, um, that's a job I want. Oh boy, Billy. Just being able to come to the field you played at in high school, come to the school that you played in high school, um, just coming home, that's been really special. Special is also a good word for the left arm of Bjorn Johnson, the top pitching prospect in the state, who said his team's been throwing curveballs to the rest of the Metro League since they started as a varsity program just three years ago. Our first season as sophomores, we, we, we took the league by storm. They then won the league this year as seniors. And when the last out hit, we kind of, I think everyone realized what we just did. Lincoln hasn't won a Metro championship since 1976. The first four year graduating class since the school reopened has already accomplished a lot, more than Atkinson ever anticipated. As I was taking the job, I was really like, you know, you're going to have to be patient, calm, you know, some things that I really wasn't. But the timeline was expedited thanks to Johnson and others. A school that had been closed for so long now has a window that's wide open. Bringing the first state championship to Lincoln since the reopening will be, will be an amazing feeling, and I think we have the power to do that. The sequel is never better than the original, some say. Not the case here. It would be the first baseball state title the school has ever seen. To be a new school and, and be able to accomplish that would be amazing. Four wins away from finishing the business, 40 years in the making. Hey, keep dreaming big. Keep dreaming big. In Seattle, Jake Garcia. Three, one, two, three, Lakes. King 5 Sports.